What up, boy? What up, people? It's your boy, Master Judy, out here with another comic review. So today, we'll be going over Super Sons. A very fantastic rebirth run. Really love the dynamic between Jonathan Kent, Superboy, and Damian Wayne, the current Robin. First of all, this cover, I'd say it's pretty fantastic, you know. It signifies that, look, Jonathan's a big, huge deal, man. He's, he's a power who will be a part of the Titans eventually, the Teen Titans eventually. And, you know, you've got um, Aqualad, Starfire, Beast Boy, Robin, and Raven. And they're all looking pretty good, pretty cool, everything like that. So let's get into the story right here. You basically have um, they're in Metropolis right now, and they just got their butts handed to them by uh, three unknown warriors that in the last issue DA um, aged Robin to a very old man so we see them regrouping back at um, Jonathan's place with um, Jonathan's place so basically we have Starfire it's like well that was embarrassing and we see these are saying oh you mean getting our hands handed to us by three unknown weirdos sounds totally normal to me Starfire and <laughs> we see Aqualad's like Beast Boy is always a laugh minus the riots and then Raven's like, Garfield's being sarcastic. Yes. And then, so, you know, good dynamic. Meanwhile, Jonathan's just out there serving drinks and whatnot. So you get to the next one saying that, for whatever it's worth, they aren't totally unknown, Robin. Robin said he picked up their names, Time Commander, Adam Master, and Chun Something, the guy without a face. And then we see um, Beast Boy acting humorous. It's like, where's our elderly leader anyway? Quick, tell me before I poop on your nose. Like, oh my gosh, Beast Boy. So we see um, <laughs> Jonathan's like, oh, God, the bathroom. Then we see um, Starfire saying again, and then Aqualad's like, have you seen these old, those old people commercial in the commercials, right? <laughs> and I don't know why. I like um, Starfire's look right here. Like, she has pupils, like defined green eyes, as opposed to like her whole eye or her pair of eyes being completely green. And you know, I think the art is good. Like, they really um, drew Aqualad pretty well, very well. So meanwhile, <clears throat> Jonathan heads to the bathroom, and he's like, Damon, you okay? Kind of been in there a while. Still listening. Then you hear the flush, and then he's like, sheesh. And you know, he's trying not to laugh, Jonathan. I, the dynamic between these two is just impeccable. It's like, not a word. It's like, Titans, time to go. It's like, we, we know where they are, and this time we're... And then we see Jonathan's about to crack up again. Damon's headed back to the bathroom, and he's like, not a word slam and he's back in the bathroom you know Jonathan being being that kid is like you know hilarious so meanwhile it's like uh, Jonathan's like saying um, Robin says he'll be a minute more just a minute more and Aqualad is like this time you're coming with us and he's like why me he's like be basically Starfire is like we need to make sure that we can get Robin back to his proper age and having that big S on your chest is going to be a huge man for us. And uh, <laughs> Jonathan's trying to play the fool, say, man, I, I, I don't know about this. I'm just, a, I'm just a normal kid. I'm just a regular kid that Robin happens to know. Like, that's not a very good explanation. And so Beast Boy's like, we know who you are. Your secret identity is more obvious than mine. And I'm green. <laughs> and then meanwhile, Alcala just goes into their fridge and like, yeah, I'm just going to take this bottle of water while I'm here. I just help myself to your to your victuals and all that good stuff. So he just said, we're going to kick some villain ass and save our friend. And we see that Johnson's like, but Robin says I'm too young for the team. And he sees saying, now he's too old. Irony abounds. And then Raven's like, John, it's really simple. We need your help and so does your friend. So Raven is coming just straight to the point, but a very simple reason. And then we see Jonathan thinking about Clark, his father, saying that, I remember, what are we helping folks for, buddy? Good people get involved. Say, cool. It's like, okay, cool. I'm, and then we see Damien's like, he already has his, like, um, suit ready to go. And it's like, he's in. Get dressed, Titans. We're going back. Our ship is still in Hell's Gate with the bad guys. We'll start there. And then we see Jonathan's like, you really don't mind? And Damon's like, I'm, I'm too old. I'm way too old to care. And then we see Beast Boy saying, welcome to the, welcome to the Titans, kid. Want to do the honors? And you see um, Jonathan 
like ready to go. He's like, really? It's like Titans, and you just see Damien just push by the saying, no, 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 I'm still the leader here. It's like, I'm still the leader here, you can't retire me. And he's like, Titans. And you know, he's got like that old, old stoppage in the mind. It's like, um, um, and then we see, um, see his buddy, Jonathan, give him a bailout. It's like, together. And then we get a nice page like this, like, together, so. This is a very nice piece of artwork right here. Um, very comic-esque. As Captain Cummings would say, I'd probably hang this on my wall. Good art. So Peter J. Tomasi and Jorge Jimenez as the artist. Alejandro Sanchez as the colorist, and so on and so forth. So, And Jimenez and Sanchez did the cover, so you know I think they're very good artists right here. Good stuff. So meanwhile, you have at this layer the old man with the warriors here. And we see him musing to himself, It cannot be long now. My time has finally come. The young heroes, my artificial villains defeated earlier, will call their superiors. The elder heroes will come to avenge their spawn. And by this time tomorrow, everyone will know the name of the most magnificent magician of all, Cracklow. And he's like, And to think I had given up the fame that was due to me. Lost decades toiling at thankless art where... Theatrics were deemed more important than craft, left me a, left me penniless, aimless. It's like, and hopeless, until that day I finally met the greatest magician of all, me. So basically, his, um, apparently from another dimension, another reality, an older version of himself came and gave him some magic clay. Said that um, this was one of the two things he wanted. He wanted real magic. The current Cracklow said he wanted real magic so that he could um, really shape things in his image and his um and his artist often saying this with this clay you have life at your fingertips you can create anything you want anything you need and then he um and then he finds out that there's a multiverse actually which might tie into some other stuff that's happening in dc with the current metal that's out but he's like saying but the alternative was not my concern i now had his gift and a chance, the, sec the second thing I had long before searching for, that from here on out, I would be a legend. So, waken yourself. My time has come. All my dreams are on their way. Win or lose against the world's greatest heroes, the name Crackler will be on the lips of everyone. So basically, he wants to fight the Justice League. And he doesn't care if he wins or loses, he wants his name to be remembered. And so here we have uh, these villains. It's like, and so will the names of my forgotten villains. It's like, you have Adam Master, Time Commander, and Chun Yo, the Faceless Hunter. And we see your master. You heard the master. Time to prepare for battle. My power is slightly diminished since I used it on that boy. So you two hide in the shadows and now. And you just hear the boom. Teen Titan Titan in the house. Bam. See Superboy come out with the entrance. And you just see this, this cool looking pose. Even Robin, as like an 80-something-year-old man, is still like saying, like, yeah, I'm, I'm here, I'm ready to go. So he's saying, now, where were we? So maybe, maybe say for Robin, Aqualad looking, looking boss. Jonathan over here, he's looking boss. Raven's ready to go, and she's looking boss. Starfire, ready and charged up, she's looking boss. And Beast Boy looking stoic and all that, he's looking boss. They're just all looking boss right now. So we get into the next panel where they were blindsided, and he and um, their master's like, "Tell it's like, get up. This is this is your moment." It's like, "Damn it, my moment!" And then and we see Tom Commander saying, "It's the water master. So much it's affecting our body's composition. Need a minute to." So it's the clay that's kind of decomposing a bit due to the water. And then we see Beast Boy ready to rush. He's like, "Take Newt, Super Kid. When you're a Titan, you're gonna need awesome plans like this at a moment's moments." And we see that he's. Um, freezing time a bit. Moments, 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 you know. So, we can see Top Commander telling his master, I can only freeze them in time for so long. I turned that teenager into a grandpa. In other words, master, we should bolt and let the big guys handle cleanup. He's like, but where are the other heroes? Why have they not come seeking revenge? And then, um, <laughs> you see Top Commander saying, I think this is, this, I think this is all we're getting right now. So put your dreams on hold and run. Say, take flight, we will kill the child heroes. And then we see Cracklow leaving and saying, I still don't understand. 
Why did they come back alone, Time Commander? Are they not loved and cared for? Think it doesn't matter for now, Cracklow. We can circle back in a few minutes. Hunter and Adam Master will make short work of them since the kids can't move. So we see um, Chun, Chun Yul and um, Adam Master getting ready to kill these kids, and we see that Beast Boy still saving Mens Mens. You know, he's still still. He's like, Hunter, it's time for us to use our full set of powers. You go big, but I'll use my mastery of my atomic structure to become unbreakable. And then we see Jonathan is struggling, struggling to break free of this time hold on him. And then um, Adam Master's like, your call, Hunter. Which one of them dies first? And so you see, um, see Jonathan saying, let me, boom, go. You just see this powerful, powerful force of, force blast of will. I don't know, his will might be so strong. And then Beast Boy finally finishes the same, it's like mince notice. And so, you know, Jonathan just looking, just looking boss right here. Just looking boss. So meanwhile, we see Starfire's like, what happened? And then Damon's like, Superboy happened. Then, meanwhile, Robin's giving the orders. He's like, Beast Boy, track the magic guy. He's like, on it, I've got a set. Then meanwhile, he gives orders like, Aqualad and Starfire, you take the two here. Superboy. Stay out the way. And we just see Superboy like this, like, like, hell I will. So he made a swear, and then he realized he made a swear. And he's like, um, my bad. Uh, like, heck I will. Like, you're still a good boy, Jonathan. You're a good boy. <laughs> so meanwhile, Robin and Raven go, and then we see, come on, Raven, someone owes me 70 years. So, Adam Smasher takes the two from behind, takes them, momentarily pa paralyzes, uh, Starfire and uh, Aqualad. It's like Superboy behind, and you just hit, hit them down. And then uh, you see Superboy land on her, saying, Hang on, I'll get you guys free end. We see Chun Li grab Superboy, and then and we see um, Superboy uses heat beam vision on Adam Smash, Adam Master. He's like, Drop my friends. And you know, Aqualad's like, His name is Superboy, right? And you see Starfire's like, Yes, we gotta get one of those. And she's like, Yes, we do. So, you know, like, yeah, Kryptonian. Meanwhile, Time Commander is escaping. A few minutes of isolation. All I need to refocus, all I need to refocus. Time neutrinos get strength back and turn them all into their grandparents. And then we see Raven, who, I think this is wonderfully done art right here. She's just looking very um, mysterious, magical, and sinister at the same time, with the eyes red and all that stuff. And she's like, the last thing you want is for me to turn into anyone in my family, Time Commander. In fact, let me give you a glimpse of how scary that could be. And, you know, she does the cloak thing, puts the fear in him, and he just falls down. And you see Damien like, that's Raven. She's the good cop. Me, I'm not. Let's talk about reversing my aging while you're still conscious. And, you know, like, no. So, Raven, you got Damien doing his best Batman. Ready to go. So, you got Starfire and Superboy with a two-punch combo on this person with the fist bump at the end. Meanwhile, Aqualad is engaging um, Adam Smasher, you know, using his water powers against her, like um, atomic powers, so they had to stand still. And, you know, Aqualad's like, I can use some help. And Superboy obliges, throws Chun Yul at Adam Master. Bam. And then we can see that they're melting, of which, like, Starfire's saying, it's happening again. They're melting. And we see Superboy saying, that's not melting. That's decomposing. So meanwhile, we see Damien looking boss at his regular age, and we see like, um, we see basically saying, they are the only ones, Time Commander fell apart in my hands, like, we see Jonathan's like, hey, you're you again, and we see Damien is like, yeah, and you're you, life's full of disappointments, so we see <laughs> just Jonathan saying, jerk, it's like, the magic man is key here, is Beast Boy back, it's like, and we see A.M. Ow, you know, got stuff in his mouth, and it, the time master's like, the magician's like, let me go. And he just see Beast Boy spit him out and say, bleh, said I'm, I am now. And this guy's talking about his destiny. Like, a greater destiny awaited me, and you ignorant children ruined it. You know, they could have also just put like, and I would have gotten my destiny fulfilled if it wasn't for you meddling kids and your lying. Yeah. So we see Damien's like, we're not children, we're teens. And then we see Jonathan saying, actually, I was like, shut it. Shut, don't ruin the moment. Don't ruin the moment, Jonathan. Later, we just see um, 
Beach Boys say, the Justice League and Argus databases come empty for priors. Crackle's really just been a small-time magician working clubs for decades. And then we also see, we still have no idea how he was able to create these forgotten villains from dirt. And then Aqualad's like, we'll, him, we'll, say, we'll, hand, we'll hand him over to the authorities and say, good. And we can meet at the tower tomorrow night. And you know, we see Starfire pulling his face like, you know, like a little boy. He's like, don't forget to bring our newest member along with you. He's a he's adorable and great in a fight. And we see, you know, Jonathan's like, well, shucks. And we see Superboy, and he's like, Superboy's not a titan yet. Damien's like, oh, come on, Robbie, don't get jealous. You're cute, too. He's like, don't assume I'm above cru cruelty to green animals, Logan. <laughs> because Damien really loves animals, actually. And we see Raymond's like, do not let Robin's defensiveness mask his real feelings, Superboy. He respects you deeply. We all do, now that we know you. You are welcome back to the Titans anytime. And you see, Raven's like... Raven always knows how to dissect Damien. It's becoming an interesting thing. And we see Damien's like, don't get too cocky. Her father is a satanic demigod, just so you know. But we just see that Superboy don't care about that. Superboy's all smiles. So meanwhile, it's just the two of them. And so like, all I know is that I get to join your glee club at any time. They love me. So get over yourself. They love the S, that's all. Help me gather these sample, third samples together. I'm going to study them back in my lab. And we see um, Damien's like, don't you mean... No, Jonathan's like, you mean Batman's lab. Damien's like, I use it more than he does at this point. Once I see what we're dealing with, it'll be easier to triangulate the origin source than the Titans and I can follow it up. I, me, me, mine. This is my case too, you know. And then we see Damien's like, sorry, Ken. But you're still in training. We didn't even get through our first session tonight. Again, no one asked you to train me. It was like, it was implied. No, you inferred wrongly. Implied. Yeah, by who? It's like, by your... It's like, by your mother... Ah! And we just see Damien, like, freaked out. We see something like that was been, that's been tearing through through a dimension coming up. And we see Jonathan, like, what the... And then we see, next cape shall not cape. Next adventure. I gave a review on this. So this was a great, great comic. You know, it was the main fun. I really like the dynamic. Like, the dynamic between Damien and uh, Jonathan, Superboy and Robin is just very well done. Um, I think a lot of people who had a problem with Damien shouldn't have it now because it would seem that the Teen Titans and especially Jonathan Kent do a great job of giving him more character and humanizing him, making him very favorable. So I think this is very good. So, once again, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification so you can be notified of more reviews that I got going on. I give this comic a 9 out of 10. And once again, I thank you guys for listening to my reviews. Once again, I give these reviews for you, the people. Because I just want you to, you know, get my point of view of things. And whether we agree or not, we can have a great discussion. Thank you for watching this review, and have a nice day. Oh, by the way, I hope the nerd wonder is watching. She loves, um, she loves uh, Super Sons. I'll probably link her to, I'll link a video of some of her artwork of why you should read Super Sons. Okay, then. Have a nice day, y'all. Oh my gosh.